Welcome and thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Paul O'Mani talking to you from my kitchen or just off my kitchen in, in Cork, Ireland. And today I, I thought, why don't I say a little bit more about myself, about who I am? Because if I'm going to spend some time in your life, if you're going to welcome me in, in any way into your, into, into your life, you, you probably would be wise to find out a little bit about me. Otherwise, you might regret it. So I thought, right, well, look, I'm a guy who's dedicated to poetry and whose only reason for doing this video is because I want to help people to be able to write poetry. And I thought, well, look, what poem expresses the kind of person that I am? Is there any one poem that I can tell you about that you can go off and read and say, well, Paul is like this, or at least he claims to be like this. And there is. There is one poem that more than any other poems stands out in my mind as being, well, hey, OK, read this and you've got a good idea about what kind of guy I am. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give way to hating and yet, don't look too good, nor talk too wise, nor be a boastful fellow. I just added that bit on at the end. So if everybody else is panicking and you don't have to lose your own head, and even when they're blaming all the trouble on you, if you can keep your head, in other words, if you don't get blown away by what other people are saying about you, if you can trust yourself when other people don't trust you, so have some sort of sense of your own value, and, but understand that other people can doubt you. Other people can doubt me. They can think, hey, this guy is this or that or the other. They might doubt my sincerity. So, can I make allowance for that? Well, I hope so. So this poem by Rudyard Kipling is, is fantastic and it has three other bits, every bit as long as the bit I just read to you. If you can wait. Now that's a bit like if you can have some patience. If you can have some patience and not be tired by waiting and not get fed up waiting. So if you can have real patience and calmness and stillness and you just have that ability to let things take their time to become fulfilled. Or if people tell lies about you, you don't start telling lies about them. So the great thing about this poem called If by Rudyard Kipling, he wrote it around 1900 or something like that, is that it is a poem in which the very last line of it all is, if you can do all these things, then you will be a, a man, my son. So it basically saying, look, you'll be a decent person. You'll be a fit human being to let out into the world. And what a poem that, that expresses you, yourself, is fantastic. Because you own it, you know, it, it's yourself. Now, the complication for me is that I didn't write that poem. I, of course, I wish I'd written it. So I was thinking the other day, I was thinking, maybe I should write my own version of that poem. So I got my notebook and I started... I started to write. And I kind of, well, very much inspired by Kipling. But the reason I, even, I mention this at all is that I'll bet you that the idea of a poem expressing the kind of person you are, 
I bet you that appeals to you. It would appeal to anybody, wouldn't it? That this poem kind of goes a long way to capturing or expressing the essence of the kind of person I am, of who I'd be like if you met me and stuff like that. So here's what I'd love you to do. Get yourself some class of a notebook and write down a few things that are you. What you stand for. What kind of a person you are. You can always, you know, write down something that is a little bit better than you might really be. You don't have to, it could be even a little bit worse. Why am I saying one or the other? But basically, write something down about yourself. I, <laughs> I wrote down my very first one. When you can pay your bills. I didn't know what I was going to say after that. Yes, I, I was going to say something, when you can pay your bills. Now Kipling said, if you can keep your head when all around you are losing theirs. So I thought, well, I'll say something about when I can pay my bills. Because paying bills means all sorts of things in life. But in any case, have a go, right? Write something, make it look like a poem, but make it be about you, yeah? You. I don't mean to point, excuse me, I won't do that in a proper video if I was going to put it out to the whole world, but to you, yeah, to you. Um, do, a, do a poem about yourself, what you stand for, your values, your behavior, yeah. What you'd like other people to admire about you, but about you. Write something about yourself and I'll come back, I promise you, and I'll talk more about this kind of idea about things you can write poems about. But that's what I'd love you to do. It's Paul O'Mani saying thank you so, so much for watching and I look forward very much for our future contact with each other. All the best. Bye for today. Bye bye.